This is an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar taking a look at the new features inside Adobe Media Software. In this excerpt, we'll look at the brand new dynamic link between Adobe Premiere Pro and Adobe Audition. The biggest new feature is an enhanced dynamic link between Premiere and Audition. This means that we can do a real-time update in Premiere and have that change instantly reflected in Audition. This update could be adding an effect or moving a video clip. The interface for Audition is almost the same with the exception of this essential sound panel we'll talk about in just a second. But notice that I don't have anything loaded in Audition. Let's go to Premiere. And I've got my sequence here. I've got some text and spinning globe, Dr. Surf, B-roll, titles, everything. Go up to the Edit menu, go down to Edit an Adobe Audition Sequence. Now, in the past, this would just simply pass the audio files to Audition so I could mix them. But now, it's gotten better. Select this. I'm going to just call this V2 so it doesn't interfere with V1 that I did in a 9 o'clock. Leave all the rest of the settings alone. Click OK. It now exports the audio, but it doesn't create a reference movie. What's happening instead is Audition is looking at a headless version of Premiere, and Premiere is actually generating those video images. So as I move back and forth, Audition is not looking at a reference file. Audition is saying to Premiere, show me this frame. Now here's why this is significant. If I go back to Premiere, and I select Dr. Surf, and let's go to the color panel, and let's just pick something under... Oh, basic correction, and let's take saturation out. Notice that Dr. Surf is black and white. I have not saved the file. I just made this one color change. It's instantly reflected inside Audition. What this means is the audio mixer can be putting the audio together for the show, adding sound effects, adding music, mixing it all together, at the same exact instant that the colorist is making the color look good in Premiere, and I'm able to see the changes the colorist is making instantly. In fact, if they move a video clip in Premiere, the video clip will move in Audition because it's actually Premiere that's playing back that video window. But if they move an audio clip in Premiere, it will not move in Audition because Premiere is only serving video. It used an XML file to get the audio from Premiere over to uh, Audition. This is the best of all worlds. I'm able to see changes without having to keep asking for new reference movies, nor do I have to render the reference movie or output it. It's automatically created by Premiere acting as, as a headless piece of software that feeds the video over to Audition so I can see it without waiting for it to render. This has been an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar taking a look at the new features inside Adobe Media Software. For the complete version of this training, please visit my store at larryjordan.com store and look for Webinar 198. By the way, membership is a great value. If you need to stretch your training dollars, a subscription membership to our video training library saves you money. You can access all of our videos for a low monthly price of only $19.99. That's more than 1,400 movies, hundreds of hours, all in-depth and all up-to-date. Plus, members can attend any of our Power Up webinars for free. Our training covers Apple and Adobe software. We update it every week. And for more information, visit LarryJordan.com slash membership. And thanks.